this is Certificate of Merit Level 4 Technique Packet. Um, the first scale that you will be asked to play is an A major scale. A major is one of the sharp keys. So as a reminder, there are three types. Zero sharps of flats, that's C major. Then there's sharp keys and flat keys. All the flat keys have flat in their names besides F. So if you get a key that's not C nor F and it doesn't have a flat, it must be a sharp key. The order of sharps um, goes F, C, G, D, A, E, D. Bad cat goes down alley eating birds. So um, in order to figure out the key signature for a sharp key, A half step below G sharp. Then it's all the sharps up and down until that. So it's F sharp, C sharp, G sharp. So the required tempo is 76. So if it's B flat, E flat, you add a flat after the E flat. So B flat, E flat, A flat. You add one beyond the tonic, okay? Basically, of the five's relative major. You do that by going up three letter names and three half steps. So C, one, one, two, three, E flat major. C minor has the same key signature as E flat major, which is just three flats. So C natural minor just have those three flats. So then now the B flat becomes a B natural. You raise it by a half step. G minor, go up three half steps. B flat major, so it's the relative major for G minor is B flat. It has two flats. and come back. By definition of chromatic scale is that every single half step is played. So everything is a half step apart. Da, 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 da. Okay. You basically use one and three, but if there's two, why 
legs next to one another, the second finger is involved. Okay, going on to chord progressions, it's one, four, six, four, one, five, six, five, six, five, one. So one just means the stitch wire that's built on top of the first note of the scale. So A major, first note is A, so then you have this triad. And then the fourth chord in A major, A, B, C sharp, D, is D, F sharp, A, that's the fourth chord. They don't have the root position here. They kept the common tone, meaning the same note in the same voice. So it's a four, six, four. Six, four just means that it's the second inversion. So when you have the fourth chord like this, root position, if D is on the bottom, if F sharp is on the bottom, we call it first inversion. If A is on the bottom, we call it second inversion. So I will play the whole thing. One. The difference between a 5 chord and a 5 7 chord is the 5 7 chord has an extra note. So I use A major as an example. 5, that's the 5, the 5th note. 5 chord is this, 5 7 is that added interval of the 7th above the E. So this is the 5 chord in A, this is the 5 7 chord. When it's the 5 7 chord, the note that's mostly omitted, if there isn't all the notes there, is the 5th. Because without the E, it won't be a 5 chord of any kind. Without a G sharp, it makes the quality a little unclear. Without the D, it's not a 5 7. So if you look at it, um, the fifth chord you'll be playing in here is basically this, just in a different version. Now the E is on top, leaving the G sharp to be the second, the lowest note, I'm so sorry, the lowest note. And when G sharp is the lowest note, we call that first inversion. The numbers, the figure based numbers, there's little numbers on the side. The first inversion is 6, 5. Okay, now I'm going to move on to E flat major. for B flat major. Okay. And then minor ones. One very important thing to remember is that for minor scale composers usually use harmonic minor. That gives it a little more of the minor character because it's not exactly the same collection of pitches as it's relative major. So in this thing, um, chord progression thing, you would have to play B natural. is primary and secondary triads in A major and B major. Um, primary just basically means 1, 4, 5, and it's the most frequently used um, chords in cases. And secondary is the 2, 3, 6, 7. So if you're in A major, 1 chord, then 4 chord, these are all root position. And then the 2 chord, notice how the um, Roman numerals are lowercase for this one because it's a minor chord. Lowercase for this one, minor chord. Lowercase, lowercase plus a circle because it's diminished quality. So what's the difference between a diminished chord and a minor chord? A diminished chord is half step narrower than a minor chord. So this one would be minor, but a half step smaller on the top makes it diminished. Now I'll play the primary and secondary chords for B flat major. And then Okay. Now we have broken triads to the octave. So basically, locked, broken. 
then the first one he asked for is A major. You just keep on cycling up and cycling it down. That's pretty much it. I'm so sorry. Your whole complete packet for level four.